Environmental advocate Betty Osceola, a member of the Miccosukee tribe of Florida. So what this is showing is that we've lost soil. Miccosukee Fish and Wildlife Director Dr. Craig Vanderheiden. The tree islands of the Everglades, they're like the, the lifeblood, they're the arteries of the Everglades. And Garrett Stewart, no biologist point. and Everglades educator. These islands are what the animals depend on. Are taking you on an airboat ride into the central Everglades the, uh, elderberry. to submerge you in a crucial environmental issue they are monitoring. Think about those turtle eggs that were submerged on top of the island. You can see that all these roots have started coming up on the water surface. Damaging high water levels. This means that the wildlife that utilizes these tree islands will start to decline. If I were a raccoon, where would I be? under this water. Many of the islands are underwater and drowning and something needs to be done. That's something, she says, asking the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to open some nearby floodgates. Opening these structures so water can get out. Which she says will provide relief to this habitat without flooding Miami-Dade's agricultural lands. That would allow water to go in towards the Big Cypress National Preserve. In recent days, take a look. The South Florida Water Management District and Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission have penned letters to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers requesting they open specific water control structures along Tamiami Trail to provide relief and restore healthy wildlife populations. A water lily always grows to be on top of the water. In a statement late Tuesday afternoon, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers told Local 10 News they are aware of the situation and shared their concerns. If we take out a lily, we can kind of get an estimate how deep that water is. Adding they are actively working to open some gates. If we teach people how to fall in love with this place and you start to love something, then you'll have the heart to protect it. You know, because to me, the Everglades is like the mother of Florida. In the Everglades, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.